This is the Sega 12. Just got done putting my Tapco stock on here. I did not move the trigger group forward like everyone's doing. Uh, this Tapco stock's worked out perfect for me. I don't really see the need to to move my trigger group. I can get a good a good pull with this thing the way it is. I mean, I just don't don't quite see the, the need for all that. Um, I put my my reduced spring in here for low brass shells. Uh, you can see the gun is empty, the bolt is back. I put my gas tappet in here for the reduced shells from King Armory. Um, everything else comes from Carolina Shooter Supply down in Merle's Inlet, which is only about 30 45 minutes from my house. Got the Tapco mags that I did have to cut on. These mags do not like working in these guns. This right here, this little lip catches up underneath the, the mag well when you first buy them and you can't tell it I know but I've had to I've had to carve that down a lot I mean I took a razor knife and a file and just cut that lip down there about halfway the distance of that, that that it stuck up I cut it down and now these these magazines clip right in no problem and they're solid you don't have to worry about it once you cut them down the five round mags work great but uh 10 rounds is always better of course so there's the Sega we'll see a little more of it I'm waiting on my muzzle brake to come in and my rail system uh, once I get all that she'll be ready to go be up to up to, to my standards anyway